In this video I'm going to look at the Commodore Sound Studio software. There's two programs, one is called Synth and the other is called Editor. They'll both appear in this video. When the Synth program loads you're faced with the following screen with a big purple arrow pointing to the selected parameter. This program doesn't use the F keys for the standard cursor movements and uses the cursor keys instead. It would have been a good idea if they'd have kept some consistency between the programs. You can see from the screen there's F1 for loading and saving, F7 for setting the volume and filter and F3 for saving the sound. Moving the cursor up and down and using the left right key changes the parameters on the screen. The help page shows the controls to use on the first screen and also shows that you can draw the envelope. Pressing F7 results in the following page which shows the settings for the filter and the volume filter having resonance of course and pressing up and down selects the parameter and left and right again selects the value of that parameter the editor program loads with the shown screen and its first item on the menu is playback and when you press that this is what happens The software contains a real-time and step-time sequencer. Um, there's six tracks, but the last three are MIDI only. And in order to play the MIDI back, you have to have an extra dongle stuck in the back of the uh, sound expander cartridge. The MIDI screen shows that you can select Omni, Poly or Mono. And there's separate playback and record modes. Not sure what those do because I haven't tried them. The sound library page shows all of the presets that are able to be used as sounds. And then you have the tuning page. And finally the load save page.